guys, in case you're new to this channel, my name is Hamad Benesha. I'm the founder of undoit.ca. In this channel, I talk about MacBooks, MacBooks repairs, everything to do with MacBooks. I'm located in Toronto, Canada, downtown next to the Sin Tower. And I have been in the business for over 20 years. I'm also an Apple certified technician and I only fix MacBooks, nothing else. So if you haven't done it yet, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Well, hi guys, Hamad Benesha here for undoit.ca. Uh, before we get uh, started and replace the trackpad for this MacBook Air, I just want to make mention that this MacBook was liquid damage, very minor, and uh, this probably could have been saved. I actually made a video on uh, recommend what to do, what not to do if you have a liquid dam damage, which I highly, highly recommend you watch. Um, if you click on the arrow showing on your screen there, it will take you to that video and uh, highly recommend it. Okay, so without further ado, let's fix this one. So when you try to use um, the trackpad itself, see it doesn't move, but if I plug in uh, an, exter an external mouse, uh, it works fine, as you can see over here, okay? But is, if I try to use the, um, the internal uh, trackpad, see nothing happened, okay? So I already uh, taken one out, okay, brand new, okay? We're gonna install it, we're gonna test it, make sure it's all good. Okay, so there is no need to replace the whole uh, top assembly, uh, the top case, uh, so keyboard, uh, battery, everything, just the trackpad. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so as mentioned, this is um, the model in, in 1932, as you can see here. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to open it, we're going to test the, the new trackpad, and then uh, see if it works, and if it does, we'll uh, plug it in. So the first thing you want to do is remove the battery. Okay, so always, always remove the battery before you do anything. Okay, now everything is good. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna remove those screws. Okay, I'm gonna, and the, the, the trackpad should come, should come out. Okay, I'm gonna try to open the screen like that. Okay, so it doesn't fall. There you go. Because you wanna keep the LCD as far as possible, always. Okay, so removed. So I'm gonna go like this gently. Okay, see so if we can actually take it off. As you can see over here, there's a bit of a glue. So just pull on it gently. Okay, and it should be able to come out. So yeah, go like that. There you go. Okay. So let's see if the thing is damaged now. Nice and clean. Okay, so as you can see over here, that's the liquid damage over here. Okay. So that's why it's not working. So we're gonna do I'm gonna put a new one. Okay, brand new. I'm just gonna plug it in here. Okay, I'm gonna test it. And if it's good, I'll plug in. So what do you want to do? You want to open that up, go this way. Okay, let me do that. Okay. 
Okay. You see? And I'm going to put this back in. both okay so let me move the screen the light sorry turn this light again okay that's better okay so now what we need to do we need to turn it on we need to plug into power <coughs> There you go. See, I move my fingers. I look over here. Okay. All good. Okay, so just gonna plug it in, and then uh, we go from there. Okay, let me shut it down. Okay. How about this one? There you go. Okay, also from the from the old um, trackpad, you're gonna want to remove those. Um, I'm not really sure what they call, to be honest. But anyway, you need to remove them and put them on the new one before you plug it in, before you install it. Okay, so just like that. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I do the same with this one. Sometimes they're a bit sticky, so you might wanna you might have to move them a little bit. And after that, they come easily. They come out easily. Here you go. Okay. So you do like that. Okay. Then you can install it.
make sure it's aligned. So you just have to plug in all the rest of the screws and the job is pretty much done. So if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me, give me a thumbs up and also don't forget to um, subscribe if you haven't done so. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. All I gotta do now is just plug in the battery and this is good to go. The process is very easy whether you're looking in Toronto or anywhere in Canada, just visit andoit.ca, click here to get a quote, or you can also click on the menu here, get a free quote, it's the same link. There is nine different categories, so try to select the one that best apply to you. In this example, I'm just going to click on my screen is black, and uh, let's assume my screen goes black when I tilt it. So I can, you can either get a free quote online, or you can also call if you prefer. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to click on get a free quote, fill up the form and just click on submit form. When you click on submit form, this is what I receive on my hand. And as you can see, we do receive a lot of requests. Uh, actually, 90% of our business is uh, shipped to us now from all over Canada. So you can rest assured that we know what we're doing. Uh, so I read it. I analyze it and then I send an email with a quote uh, with all the option to the client and if you decide to ship it you just click uh, here to select your shipping option and then you'll receive a shipping label as soon as your MacBook is fixed you will receive an email with pictures showing your MacBook repaired your invoice and how to proceed with the payment by credit card as soon as the payment is made, we'll send it back to you. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to receiving your MacBook. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know, share it, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video.